Before we begin, I want to thank Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video, and thank you for watching this tutorial. Envato Elements offers unlimited downloads for millions of assets for any of your creative needs, like photos, videos, music, sound effects, web templates, presets and plugins, and so much more. If you need stock photos for a project and use a photo editing program such as Photoshop, you can browse our library for a preset and use it on your own projects. You can also download the project files in other formats, including the ability to download specific angles of a 3D object. This is important if you work with a lot of compositing and motion projects, and it doesn't stop there. A lot of you are video editors like myself, and that's why I think you guys will enjoy the custom transitions and editing packs from their huge library for Final Cut Pro and other editing programs. With every asset, you get a license to use these assets both commercially and non-commercially at no extra cost. I know you guys like awesome deals, and that's why I'm providing a link to a seven-day free trial for the first month to Envato Elements and everything I talked about in the description. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so welcome back to the tutorial. So the first transition or effect, however you guys want to call this one, is going to be the pinch and squeeze kind of transition. So I'm going to press Command-B to split the clip, and I'm going to go over here about there and trim it. So this is the first clip here, and then this is the second one. So you're gonna actually add the fisheye effect onto this clip here, and it might look a little bit funny, but trust me, it's gonna look cool. Shift left arrow on the keyboard twice, and this will take you 20 frames to the left. But what I'm gonna do is go to the fisheye and change the amount to zero for this. So zero and zero. So it should not change the video at all. And then you're going to add a keyframe next to all of these just in case. And then you're going to go on the 20th frame, hold shift and press the right arrow key this time. And this will move the playhead 20, 10 frames to the right. And we're going to go to the amount and we're going to increase this. But we're also going to change the radius as we do this, but also increasing the radius. So kind of play around with how much of this you want. Make sure you scale this all the way up so you don't see any of the black background. But we're going to be fixing that in the end. On the middle clip here, go one frame to the left. We're going to go the opposite way this time. So we're going to go inwards a little bit, not too much. And then the amount, we're going to kind of increase it, I guess. So now it should look something like this. Trim it or crop it so that we don't see the black background. So go to the crop tool and you're going to notice right around here, click and drag and hold option and drag it in until the corners are inside of the video frame and on the outside like this and then click done. So now it should look something like this. On this frame, we're going to do the same thing that's on this one. We can just copy the effects as well. Press command C, hold shift, click on the clip and hold shift command V press OK. And then now it's going to add the fisheye effect with the keyframes at zero. So now it should look something kind of like this. Perfect. And uh, let's move on to the next effect or transition, however you want to call it. <laughs> All right, guys, so this next one is going to be a really cool uh, kind of effect or transition. This one uses the really cool cartoon kind of elements pack from Envato Elements. What I want to do is go to the clip that we have and hold option and drag upwards to make a copy and then go over to the effects and then you go down to the masks. And you're going to add a draw mask onto that clip and then go over to the inspector tab and then find an area that you want. I'm going to go about maybe here. I'm going to select her and then just kind of you can click and drag to make a curve so it's a little bit more smooth or you can kind of make single points like this if you kind of want to speed through this and then you're going to hold option and drag upwards and then you're going to do the same thing so instead of drawing the mask over just drag it over to another person so i'm going to do it on her and then i'm just going to reposition the points here just make sure the playhead is exactly where it's at and then hold option i'm going to do it one more time and then i'm going to click and drag so once you're here and i've added the marker so i know where to go back just in case we're going to go to the transform tool you want to move the anchor point in the middle of his nose that way we can zoom up from that area and not the middle of the video so we're gonna go over to transform under the inspector tab and then go over to the anchor and just move the x over and you're going to notice that we're going to start to see you know what we masked out start to move and then just do the same thing for the y kind of like that just click and drag and move it back like this as close as you can get it and then do the same thing for each one you're gonna to have to go to transform moving this anchor point over here so you can do that by just dragging this and this will move the frame kind of like this and then just drag it back where it was which is about here and do something like that we're going to select the first one on the left and we're gonna to go to transform this time. And now we're gonna add a keyframe, skip five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna scale this on the fifth frame quite a bit like this. And then 
skip like maybe another five frames. On this fifth frame, we're gonna type in 100%. So it goes back to the original scale. So now if I push play, it's gonna look just like this. Instead of doing it over again, you can just press Command C, select the second clip, hold Shift Command V, turn off this, make sure it's unchecked, and only select the scale portion under transform and click paste. So now it'll also kind of do the same thing and then do the same thing for the third clip. This way it just saves you so much more time than having to <laughs> do it again. So shift command V, uncheck video attributes, and then just make sure scale is checked and click paste. So now it should look something like this. Now we just gotta offset them and select the, one of these clips and go to show video animation, show video animation, and again, do it on this one. And pretty much we're gonna move them. I'm gonna move the first one here. I'm gonna move it to like the very beginning. And then the second one, I might wanna move it like over here and then this one is fine. So now they'll kind of do something like this. So I'm going to go over to the titles and generators and I'm gonna go over to the pack that I just downloaded from Envato Elements. And I pretty much want to add the first one here, which is this cartoon lightning effect beneath each of the clips. So you can just move them beneath and you're gonna see the effect start to take place. And I can also rotate it and then maybe scale it up or down and maybe change the color of uh, stroke to something else like red. Maybe white could be like uh, this color here. And then you can of course make a duplicate of this and just drag it beneath another clip. It'll look something like this and you're pretty much done. So, all right guys, so I have this last and final transition and this one is the most famous and trending mass transition and that's gonna be the split frame shake transition. So what you wanna do is have two clips in the timeline. I'm gonna use this as a reference. So I'm just gonna split the clip right here. On this frame, we're gonna go up to the top, go to edit and add freeze frame, zoom out and then trim the freeze frame like so. Just drag it up and then drag it to the left. Trim it to the desired length that you want this transition to last. So it looks something like this. And then what I wanna do is pretty much go to the effects, go to the draw mask and add the draw mask onto the freeze frame here. What I wanna do is just make a selection of himself and not the beanie. This way we can kind of create that split effect. So I'm gonna go around, like not select his hat. I'll do that with a copied clip of the same shot. Okay, perfect. And then now it's gonna look like this. I don't look strange, but all I gotta do is hold option, drag upwards, reset the draw mask. And now I'm going to select the beanie this time. Perfect, so I just finished the selection. Now I just gotta move this in kind of like this so we don't see any of the gaps of our underlying clip. So that looks great. So here's our beanie and then this is the bottom clip. Select the top clip, the one with the hat. We're gonna go to transform. We're gonna add a keyframe and we're gonna move the Y axis so that the hat is coming from that top, so just drag it up. We're gonna go to the very end and go one frame to the left, and then we're gonna type in for Y, type in zero. If we go back, it's going to look like this. And then now we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom clip. So we're gonna go to transform, add a keyframe, and then at this frame here, we're gonna move this out of the frame. So drag the Y axis down, so it's coming from the bottom. And we're gonna go to the end, go one frame to the left, and type in zero, and press enter, and click done. And now if I push play, it'll look just like that. Add a directional blur to both of the clips. This way it'll look a lot more realistic. It'll look like this. Go to transform. We're gonna add a keyframe. Once we add a keyframe, we're gonna scale this up quite a bit like this. And then we're gonna skip two frames and then we're gonna move this down maybe like this. Okay, and then we're gonna skip two frames and we're gonna move it back up again. And then two frames and then we're gonna type in 100 for scale all. This way it brings it back to the original scale. So it should look something like this. If you guys like these more simple and straightforward tutorials, please let me know with a like and subscribing to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. And also be sure to check out Envato Elements. Link is in the description. Be sure to try out the seven day free trial and I'll catch you on my next video.